Okay, today we are going to cover how to put your temporary web pages on the FTP server for the very first time. What you're going to be starting out with are files that look just like this. You're going to create a directory. You're going to name the HTML file index.html. That's going to ensure that that's the first page that the browser comes to when somebody types in your web address. The next thing, the file we have here, is just a little uh, splash graphic for your web page. Um, you guys can do something a little bit more fancy than uh, what I've done, but anything should suffice for now. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to locate the email that has your FTP login information in it. The FTP login information will get sent to the email that you specified when you filled out your account with Ryan, and it should be just like this one right in here. Um, this is a client that I did one for. It should say DreamHost Account Approval Notice. And if you open up that email, which I'm not going to do for uh, security reasons, you will see um, all of the FTP information that you need to log in, as well as uh, information to log into your control panel or to create email addresses. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Fetch, which you should have installed. And if you don't have Fetch installed, there will be another uh, quick tutorial coming soon on how to install Fetch. I've got it dragged down here in my dock. If you don't have it in your dock, just go ahead and open up your Applications folder, and it should be in there. Click on that. And what we'll do is we'll reference that email information where we pulled the FTP username, um, host name, and login. First, we're going to plug in the host name here, which for me, we're going to use my personal website as an example. It'll just be FTP dot ilawson.com type in my username and my password and one important thing I want to check right now is add to keychain that's going to save these settings for later so that I don't have to type them in every time I revisit my website once we're done we'll click the connect button fetch is going to go ahead and make a remote connection to our new web server um, what you will be presented with is uh, a list of directories. Right now, yours will only have one. It should be um, the name that you specified. We're going to use my iLawson account here. And I've got a file set up. And fetch is nice because it's got drag and drop functionality, which makes it very easy. So I'm going to select my files. I'm going to drag them over into the web server. And then, boom, they're in there. We've got our temporary page set up. Let's go ahead and see if it worked. We can see right now that it comes to a file not found, but now that I've loaded them in there, there's my site. If you have any questions, please restart, play again, and if you can't figure it out, come and ask either Ryan or myself. Thanks.